As promised, let's have a look at how to do the, the 2D method of lighting from the door. So we have this already in our 3D method, which is done automatically. Um, let's just move this to the top to explain what I'm talking about. Yeah, so we already have the lights coming in in 3D, but let's have a look at how to do that now in 2D using a similar but um, more of a, a, I guess, a custom method. Uh, to do this, I'm going to use my marquee tool to create the shape of where the light will be coming in, and I'm going to use the paint bucket just with a white fill at the moment to fill that. Once I've created that one shape, I'm just going to duplicate it, and then using shift, I'm just going to move it around to get it into the right place. So I'm holding shift to keep it straight. I'm pressing command J to duplicate the layer. Of course I could do layer, layer, new layer by copy. And so the other, the, uh, the doors or windows that are facing north, I'll have to do separately, but these ones I can all do together. It's always best to try to do things in groups rather than individually. It just keeps it simpler. So let's select all of those and layer new layer by. Sorry, not what I want to do. Right click, merge layers. So I could have gone into layers and merge layers down here as well. Now these are all merged together. I could, of course, just leave it like that. I need to touch it up a little bit because there are some areas where it's not doing, where it's doing something I don't want it to do. So now they're all grouped together. I will select it and delete out the areas where it shouldn't be. Now, of course, I'm going to have issues as soon as it goes outside of or over the furniture, but I'm not too concerned about that because I can just use the layer order to push it back. So it's only going to affect my floor. So I'll just drag this down until it's over the top of my floor. Now this is my floor here, just to clarify. And that's my door light. So all I'm going to do here is to... I can do a few different things. I can leave it as normal. I've got the opacity currently at 100%. I can reduce that opacity down and I can just use opacity to describe this or I can use an option like lighten or I can change this to something like soft light if I want to and that would do the same sort of thing just to create the idea that it's lightening the surfaces or of course if I want to do something completely different I could use my magic wand to select all those areas, turn that layer off, and then use something like image adjustments, brightness, and brighten the area that I'm wanting to amend. Now this of course is only doing the floor. The only issue with this is once I've done it I can't really change it later, so I'd want to be fairly confident with what I'm trying to do. Of course, I could also do something like image adjustment, hue saturation, and, and change the lightness here. Or I could go back to my last tool and use my, I keep going to that one accidentally, okay, I can go to my dodge tool. In this case, I'd want to make sure I've got a very large Yeah, so I can do it all in one go. And then I could just add these up one at a time until I get the effect that I'm after. Great. So yeah, lots of different methods of doing the same sort of thing. Of course, I can use any of those methods. Okay, let's turn that back on, so I'll just keep using that and reduce the opacity back down. 
All right, so of course I can do the same now for the doors the other way, and I can feather these edges. So with the layer, I can go filter, blur, and I will use my Gaussian blur. And I can just add a little bit or decrease the amount of blur to make it look a little bit more natural, a little bit softer or sharper. So just blurring the edges makes it look a little bit more natural. Now that I've got a copy of that, I can just select one of them, layer, new layer by copy, and I can do the ones for the doors going the other way. So here I just have to trim this up, so let's just zoom in. Or I'll use the I'll use the scale. And I'll just copy that. Lay a new lab by copy, just so I've got the one in the other door. There you go. So now we've got sort of door lights coming through each of these openings. And because we duplicated it, we are confident that they're all the same sort of size. So we've got consistency.